How's it going guys, Nordic Warrior here. So today is the 10 year anniversary of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Man, I feel old. I can't believe it has been 10 years since Skyrim came out. I mean, I swear it feels like the game just came out not too long ago, but I digress. So I wanted to make sort of a retrospective video to mark the occasion because Skyrim is a game that really set the standard for all future open world RPGs and really and truly set itself apart from the rest in many ways. Now those of you who have been following my channel will know that I have made several videos about the Elder Scrolls series and most notably I made it very clear that Morrowind which came out back in 2002 is my personal favourite game of the series and the reason for that as I explained in my Why Morrowind is the Best Elder Scrolls Game video Morrowind for me really understood what it was and what it was trying to be. It was a true hardcore open world RPG with little to no hand holding, no fast travel, no quest markers and no essential characters or areas that were inaccessible to the player before completing a quest. In Morrowind everything was open to you. You could obtain any item in the game providing you knew the location and had the skills to obtain it. You could go right into Red Mountain and face off against the final boss of the game anytime you wanted to. You could wipe out entire factions and characters even essential to the main quest. You get the picture. Morrowind was a true, liberating, open world RPG. And that's why I personally view it as the best game in the series and one of the best RPGs out there. However, Despite me personally rating Morrowind as my favourite game in the Elder Scrolls series, one thing I absolutely cannot deny is that Skyrim, objectively speaking, is by far the superior game. And perhaps more importantly, Skyrim was more culturally and historically significant. What I mean by that is that Skyrim is that game that truly set the standard for all RPGs, it was Skyrim that not only satisfied most long-time Elder Scrolls fans, but also introduced a whole new generation of gamers to the genre. I remember quite specifically lots of young gamers when Skyrim came out. Hardcore Call of Duty fans, people who love racing games and games such as GTA, finally paying attention to this genre. And Skyrim was a game that felt truly accessible to everyone, and not just to hardcore RPG fans like myself and others. As I pointed out in my Morrowind video, as much as I love Morrowind and as much as I think that game is incredible and underrated, I have to concede that there are things about it which just don't appeal to modern day gamers. For example, as I mentioned before, no quest markers, no fast travel and perhaps more importantly, little to no voice dialogue. Morrowind requires a lot of reading and also requires you to pay very close attention to instructions and follow directions, rely on your map and stuff like that. To me that's awesome, but to your average modern day gamer that sucks. Skyrim gave modern day gamers a much better system to work with and like I said before, felt more accessible as a result of this issue. Skyrim was also the very first Elder Scrolls game to introduce a more refined combat system. The combat in Morrowind was flat out awful and unresponsive and the combat in Oblivion was so stiff and static, weapons felt like they had no punch to them and no visible effect and as much as I love the RPG elements and open world mechanics of those games, particularly Morrowind, Skyrim just felt like more of a satisfying action adventure game. Another thing that really fascinates me about Skyrim is its apparent longevity. What I mean by this is even now, 10 whole years later, you still have entire channels and forums making a constant stream of Elder Scrolls and Skyrim related content, be it lore videos, theories, hypotheses and just flat out discussions. Skyrim is a game that has lingered on in people's memories. And the fact that people still to this day are making a living basically just talking about the game is absolutely fascinating and it really makes me think. And it's funny because one of the things that I've ranted about over the years is basically how much I can't stand online gaming. 
Online multiplayer, in my personal opinion, is cancer on gaming. Every bloody game that comes out nowadays requires some sort of online access. Games nowadays can never just be offline, single player games. And yet with the gaming industry so insistent that all anyone wants nowadays is online multiplayer, Skyrim, which is entirely an offline game with a single player experience with no online content whatsoever, is still able to remain relevant and just as talked about 10 years later, proving that a game does not need to be online to stay relevant or have longevity. Other games like the Spyro Reignited Trilogy or the Crash Trilogy are also proof of this, okay? Offline, single player games are good and there is just as much demand for them now as there ever was. Skyrim, in my opinion, would not have been as successful as it was if it were entirely online like ESO. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the renewed scrutiny that Skyrim came under over the years. Now, I mentioned earlier how many of the RPG elements from previous games had been severely watered down and lessened in Skyrim over the years as more and more fans of the series started to pick the game apart. Nonetheless, I think it's clear why they were watered down as I explained before. One of the issues I had with the game and what became an issue with Skyrim is how it basically got to the point where it became a meme, mostly in regards to Todd Howard and how he and Bethesda were starting to milk Skyrim for all it was worth, releasing multiple updated and re-released versions of the game over the years. It became a pretty funny meme. But what really annoyed me about it personally is the fact that we know from studying the game's files that before the initial release of Skyrim, it had so much cut content, entire quests and characters as well as items and weapons that were cut from the game, guild quests and faction quests, originally meant to be so much better and so much more in depth than they ended up being. Yet with all the multiple new updates and re-release versions of the game, you would think that Bethesda would have made it worth the asking price and added in some of that cut content and made the game even larger and more epic. Unfortunately, they did not. They instead just got lazy and re-released the same versions of the game over and over again with very little changes. Very disappointing, you know, they could have done so much more in my opinion. All in all, Skyrim is a pretty legendary game and how could we forget when the game first came out and we all disappeared into our bedrooms for weeks on end, neglected our family members, our jobs, our education, just to spend time playing Skyrim, this epic fantasy world that captured all of our hearts for a while. Great game with such a nostalgic feel to it now. Like I said, it's really hard to believe that the game came out 10 years ago, which is really just a testimony to how great and memorable and entertaining the game is. As for the future of the Elder Scrolls series, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not looking forward to it at all. 2021 is a very different time culturally to 2011. Every single game, every single piece of entertainment media has to adhere to BS, social justice warrior, political censorship, meaning the next game, rather than being a smart, well-written, thought-provoking and mature game, will be watered down, babied, full of pretentious, insufferable propaganda and political censorship. In addition to that, the game will almost certainly be entirely online, and given Bethesda's anti-consumer track record lately, I don't see any project of theirs in the future being very good or having any of the charm or immersive entertainment value that Skyrim had. It will more than likely be DLC filled, microtransaction filled garbage. Call me a cynic, but that's just how I see it. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. Happy 10 year anniversary to The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Thanks for watching and God bless. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Mike is done talking.